Good evening. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Stamping by Hannah's Facebook Live. Um, I have changed the time of this a little bit, so I, I try and do Wednesdays at seven o'clock. So it was half past seven, but I've moved it forward half an hour because it just fits in better with my dinner. <laughs> I'll be completely honest with you. Um, I am pregnant at the moment and I need to eat earlier rather than later and um, half past seven was just it didn't fit well with that so I've moved it forward to seven o'clock rather than half past. I hope that's okay if not the replay is always here it's going nowhere it will go up on YouTube tomorrow morning so last week I put it up immediately after we finished and I just it's a again I'm trying to do things that are better for me so instead of it going Going up straight away. I'm going to leave it and go put it up first thing tomorrow morning about seven o'clock. I hope that's okay as well. Um, before we get going, I have two little reminders for you. One is bonus days, so that is that fabulous um, shopping offer. It's offered by Stamping Up at the moment. So if you spend forty five pounds or multiples thereof, so if you spend ninety pounds, you get to, you get vouchers to spend next month. Um, and next month, where is it? I haven't got it handy, have I? <laughs> this beautiful thing goes live i'm really i'm a really bad demonstrator i haven't done my pre-order for it yet so i can't actually show you anything from this castle i'll get <sighs> my hope is i might do it after this live maybe we'll see <laughs> i know what i want i need to remember to order the catalogues for you lot as well um it isn't currently on the order i've got saved so i got this and but then you know when you i when you order with Stampin' Up, if you order £150, you get free money to spend. And currently my order sat at £149. Can you see my problem? <laughs> I need to spend a little bit more, and I'm just trying to find that little bit more thing to put my order in. And as soon as I've done that, I will put my order in. But doesn't that delay me a little bit? But anyway, that's, that's, that's irrelevant, isn't it? So, bonus days. <laughs> That's what I was talking about. Bonus days. If you place an order this month of £45 or multiples thereof, you get a voucher to spend next month. Next month is this beautiful catalogue launch. It is fabulous. And I can guarantee that those vouchers will come in very, very handy. If you want one of these catalogues, there will be a sign up link going up on my blog this weekend. I was posting it last weekend. I know. Again, bad demonstrator. Um, last weekend. Um, but I was at a crafty retreat all weekend, virtually, I should add, socially distanced virtually, sat in this office all weekend, it was bliss, and I forgot. So if you want this one, it'll be going up this weekend. If you want this one, drop me a message today because I can put those in the post for you. If you already ordered one, if you ordered one last month, it went in the post yesterday, so it should be with you very, very soon. So... That's bonus days and catalogues. The other thing is my code club. So if you are going to shop with me, I would love it if you spend less than £150, if you would use my code club. And if you use my code club, you get free stuff. <laughs> so I send you little gifts and things. I send all my customers a thank you card, um, but you'll get a little bit extra if you use my code club. So, and it would really help me out. If you spend over £150, you're automatically in the club anyway. You don't need to add a code but you get that free money to spend, which is very, very handy. So, shall we make a card? This card is totally inspired by uh, another demonstrator, a gentleman, a gentleman crafter, we, they, are, they do exist, um, a gentleman called Martin, and he made this fabulous card over the weekend at my crafty, or oh, my, my team leader's leader's crafty retreat. We had such a great time, it was so much fun. And this was one of the make and takes, and I thought, that's really cool. We can do something like that on Facebook Live. And I love this technique. I love ink blending. Um, so I'm going to do a bit of a take on this. Um, it's going to look a little bit different. I'm going to change the colours. I'm going to change the stamps. I'm going to change a few bits about it. Um, but you're going to be able to tell where it's come from. So I thought I would let Martin have the credit. I will link if, oh, if he's bothered, if he's actually posted this on his blog, I'll link it on his blog. If not, I'll just link directly to his blog. And you, he's one of the Stamping Up artisans. 
so he's very, very talented, much more talented than me, and he makes really, really, really nice cards. So I will direct you over to him because he's fabulous. Right, I am going to tilt you on down and we shall get crafting. So turn you around. Now, oh dear, my, um, my desk moved round. Oh dear. There we go. My desk moved round over the weekend. Oh no, we've gone sideways. Is it going to tilt back again? Oh. Right, let's have a look. Oh no, I'm sideways. Let's, oh, it's always a drama, isn't it? Facebook Live. Right, I'll tell you what I will do. I will stop my live and I will come back. Right. Oh, you see? Yes, I think that's probably the only way to do it. So, give me two seconds and I'll be back with you in a moment. I'll be back. I hope we're back. You've moved a little bit, as you can tell. So, utter disaster. Always is. Um, but we're going to tilt on down and hopefully make a card. I do apologise for the utter disaster of... <laughs> today's Facebook Live. I am still tweaking with this setup a little bit and um, hopefully there we go. Right, so there is Martin's fabulous card. It's so, I mean, I just love this card so much. Um, and it, you, the, the bit that I really like is the ink blended background. I just think it's stunning. And so I thought I would recreate it. So I have got three colours. We're going to change the colours up a bit. This was Seaside Spray. Was it Seaside Spray? It was Seaside Spray, Misty Moonlight and Basic Grey. Which I think is very nice. But we're going to try Bumblebee, Magenta Madness and Blackberry Bliss. Because I'm still on a bit of an in colours kick. I'm loving these colours. So these are our, the stamping up, the new stamping up in colours. And they are fabulous. Absolutely gorgeous. Love them a lot. Um, and I think Blackberry Bliss actually works really well with them all. But particularly these two. So I'm going to put these three out of the way today. And like I said, we've got Magenta Madness, Bumblebee, and Blackberry Bliss to play with. I've also got one of the Pattern Basics masks um, there and a card base that I've pre-cut and scored that is Magenta Madness and a scrap of Whisper White. So first things first, just to get out of the way, I'm just going to really crease that card very well and put it to one side and we are going to do our kind of first bit of ink blending. So I don't I'm gonna move Martin this say Martin's card. I did make this one. I'm gonna move this card out of the way because I don't want it to get inky. Um because I do I'm a messy crafter. I'm not one of these like neat and tidy crafters. I'm I wish I was, but I'm not. Um I do I make a mess. And I'm really good at making a mess. And I have to close ink pads because I will generally put my elbow in them. So the other thing I've got is one of the Stampin' Up! sponge brayers. And this, I love these. <laughs> I really love these. They are so handy. Um, you could equally, just as easily use a sponge, like a makeup sponge or um, an ink blending tool or some, um, like a big, you know, if think of a foundation brush putting your makeup on that kind of brush works really well for ink blending as well I like these these give me really nice results so what I'm going to do is we're going to ink it up easiest way to ink up one of these is to start it's kind of go crossways across your ink pad from front one side one side to the other over and over and over again like so and then we're going to start off the cardstock and just roll back and forwards over and I do different directions because I think and I don't have anything to base this on really but I think that stops me getting really harsh solid lines because if you do if you just go backwards and forwards can you see there's a kind of harsh line appearing there and we don't want that so I tend to go a bit all over the place now the other thing with using a sponge 
um, Brea, is that sometimes you get kind of muckled effect. All that means is you need to add more ink. So I'm going to pull this, this colour all the way up the cardstock. Decent way up, just so we've got a nice blend in the middle. I like that, and I'm going to put my bumblebee ink away. And I'm going to grab my magenta madness. Now this is the pinkest pink in all the world. I am not cleaning my sponge bear between colours. I probably should, but like I said, messy grafter over here and it's just fine. So I am going to gently hold the cardstock and I'm going to do that the same from the top down to the bottom and you can see how bright that pink is. It is knock your eye out. But we're just going to keep going. So a bit more ink. Just like that. I'm going to pull it as far down as I kind of need to go to get rid of these. We've kind of got some, we've got some harsh lines because it's such a vibrant ink as well. Um, it's easier to get those harsh lines. It's a very well inked ink pad because it's very new and it's a, a very, very vibrant colour. So I just want a little bit more on, particularly at this bottom bit, like that. How cool is that? And it takes seconds, absolutely seconds to do. Just fabulous. So now I am going to grab my mask and I'm going to lay it over the top. Now, this was something that Martin suggested, washi tape. We all buy loads and loads of washi tape, don't we? A ridiculous amount of washi tape. Just why? I, I've stopped buying it. None of this is current. Obviously, most, all of it, I think, is stamping up branded at some point. What do I use my washi tape for? I use it to stick down things when I'm die cutting or to hold masks in place. So I am going to grab a piece of washi tape of a reasonable length. I'm going to turn everything over and I'm going to use my washi tape to stick my mask to my cardstock. Liz, I am so pleased to hear that you're a messy crafter too because I just like, you know, it's nice to not be alone in it, isn't it? <laughs> messy crafters together. I am not, uh, yeah. My problem though is that is the then tidying up afterwards as well. That doesn't happen all the time either. But hey, never mind. <laughs> I'm not taking a picture of this desk tomorrow morning because we will really see how bad it is. Right, so Blackberry Bliss. Again, sponge brayer, not cleaning, not doing anything unusual to this sponge brayer. This is a brand new ink pad. Um, I'm hoping it's going to work because it might be a bit bright. So I'm, I'm just going to put a little bit of ink on and I'm then going to run that over the top. So hopefully we will get some dots, hopefully. Oh, I can see dots coming. I can see them. <laughs> I just thought this was such a cool idea. And something like I've ink blended a kind of plain bit of cardstock before, but just the extra, the extra step of a mask over the top just makes all the difference. And it's a lot of the time it's those kind of nice finishing touches that make a difference to your projects, isn't it? And it takes no time to do. So there, look at that! Isn't that so cool? I oh, when I did this on Saturday. The other thing about washi tape is it, sometimes it does with the back of your cardstock, but it's fine, it's the back, it's absolutely fine. Well, I did this on Saturday. I spent about an hour just staring at it going, I love this so much. It's really cool. So, just as a kind of finishing touch, I'm going to take that um, Blackberry Bliss ink again. And I'm just going to ink the very, very, very top edge. Just to pull a bit of that colour into somewhere other than just the dots. There we go. Isn't that so fun? Love that. So, and the rest of it, the rest of this card's going to be really simple. So, Martin's card that I made over the weekend, we used 
I am not the best sentiment fussy cutter in the world and it's not a technique I particularly enjoy so I'm not doing that <laughs> but I do love the, la the like, kind of layered labels and then we have some wood elements I'm going to keep it even more simple than that because I do like that look but it's it's not very me in the fact that I do do simple cards so I have grabbed two I've grabbed a set of stamp set which is framed for you which I just really like this font and I think these sentiments are really really handy as well they're things that you send cards for often they are happy birthday thinking of you with sympathy probably the main cards other than Christmas the main cards that we send some really lovely little images and they are quite dinky and then this frame now I am not brave enough to use this frame as yet I did think about using it on this card and then thought no I chickened out a little bit but it's okay <laughs> I will use this stamp set in full very shortly um, and then I've also grabbed the tasteful labels dies now these are the same dies that Martin used on this card on Saturday um, but there are some fabulous shapes in here and I can just see this 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 die set is going to run and run and run in your collection it's one of those ones that you've got you know nice big labels for big sentiments some it's kind of detailed round sentiments that have got stitched edging on and this is the one I've used today this is just so cute so what I've done is I have already heat embossed happy birthday from framed for you in Whisper White onto a piece of Magenta Madness and then I've die cut it using those tasteful labels and isn't that just a really sweet way to do a sentiment I just think that's lovely so I'm gonna grab my card again I am using snail adhesive this adhesive has sadly left us at stamping up it has retired and it has been replaced by seal um which I still haven't got in my hands but it is on that that order that pre-order that I was talking about earlier on probably on the other video <laughs> do check out uh, my earlier Facebook live today um but I'm still using snail for the moment because I, like I said I haven't put my pre-order in yet because I'm a bad demo I'm really bad so I'm going to take a couple of dimensionals just onto the back of my sentiment piece like that and I pop that up there I think that needs something just a little bit extra hold on a second what have I got oh mm -hmm. talk about yourselves I <laughs> oh can you tell today was really organized I've had a really busy work day today and I did not get finished as early as I wanted to and was not prepared but hey never mind so I have got the in colour enamel dots which I think are really cute they are very small um so I could use those or or we have got the epoxy dots that are clear or frosted I think I'm gonna go for the clear ones and I forgot my pick take a pick as well oh dear me right so we've got two sizes of dots on here and actually the smaller one is the exact same size pretty much as the dots on that mask so I'm just gonna do three of those because I really like a trio it just makes it's three of anything makes my eyes happy so that is it what do we think <laughs> sorry for kind of the slightly all over the place facebook live today um but there is my ink blended dotty card thank you ever so much for joining me i do hope that you've enjoyed it although it has been a bit all over the place but hey never mind um don't forget again about those fabulous bonus days coupons and um, my code club so i would hope to see you again here at seven o'clock next wednesday and i hope you have a really fabulous crafty week thanks for watching bye for now